name is Rick Simmons, owner of Ironmonger's Gym here in Vista, California. It's a powerlifting gym is the base of it. However, bodybuilders, weightlifters, strength athletes, competitive athletes, weekend warriors, everybody comes here. It's just different from a commercial LA Fitness, 24 hour fitness. It's based in strength, that's what we, that's what we do here. If people come here, they're gonna find competitive bars, they're gonna find competitive weights, you know, the, the good stuff. The stuff you're not gonna find, like I said, at those commercial gyms. We got racks, we got GHDs, uh, chains, tires, turf, <laughs> sleds, you know. We even got a grill over there for when it gets real nice outside. <laughs> it started as a, actually as a uh, boot camp, kind of, or an athlete camp, if, you know, because I don't like to call it a boot camp. But we used to do camps for um, like a lot of different athletes, younger athletes, over at Oceanside Boys and Girls Club. So when my lease ended there after two years, I found this place, much bigger. Now we're at 3,000 square feet, got some new equipment, and now it's open gym. Monday through Friday, 9 to 9, 9 to 4 on Saturdays, and this is where we're at now. I'm hoping to grow and, you know, pack this place <laughs> and expand again. Well, now we're in the process of becoming USPA certified gym. It's the only federation I've competed in here in California. I met Steve a while back, actually at the first meet I ever did, which was Camp Pendleton Open. I really liked his organization and how he ran the meet. Just It was very smooth, very smooth from start to finish. Um, very, like I said, professional. That's what, I, that's what I got out of it. When I got this place, I had him come check it out. I had Steve Dennison come check it out. He's the owner of the USPA. He loved it. Tons of parking. Like I said, all the warm-up areas, nice and set up. I'm, we have all the competition stuff, so it was, he didn't have to really bring a whole lot. It was fun, and uh, it was a great experience. I mean, for everybody in the gym and the people that came here, I think they really enjoyed it. We had lots of sponsors outside. Again, all the judges seemed to like it. Everybody wasn't sweating so much, <laughs> but it was it was a lot of fun. And I like I truly support the USBA and Steve and what he's doing. Uh, I talk with everybody, and I'm I think I'm very open with them. So <clears throat> I tell them for every certain amount of members we get in here, you guys have equipment coming to you. You know that's kind of how it works. It's a basically a help me help you. I write it on the board up there. I want to get as many people in here as we can because then that's how we get equipment. That's how I can go out and get more equipment for us. Uh, Right now, it's to just get as many people in here, get all the equipment that everybody wants to use, you know, that they can't find anywhere else, and then just grow it. You know, more members, more stuff, whatever they want. That's what I'm gonna try and give them. Hopefully expand. I would love to get to double the size of this place. If we get to 6,000 square feet, I think that would be awesome. We actually just switched the name, which was, it originally started as Smash Academy, but there was too many Smash things out there, and it drove me nuts. People didn't know it was a gym, so, we had a full functioning website. I'm in the process of changing over. www.ironmongersgym.com. That's where they can go to get you know information right now. It's probably just a, a landing page at this point, though. There'll be something more up you know soon. So again, if uh, <coughs> they need more information, though, you can always contact me, Rick at smashweight.com. That's how a lot of people get in touch with me. Facebook, we're on Facebook, Ironmongers Gym. Instagram, Ironmongers Gym. Obviously, that's kind of why we switched, so we have that name, and it's something unique. Now we'll grow with that moving forward.